Young World, what is going on? I am your host, Cameron Unleashed for Black Tree TV, and we are live at the New York City, New York premiere of Daddy's Home. Now, I get some amazing interviews with Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell, and Hannibal Burr, so make sure you stay here for Black Tree TV. So today is the day I'm finally meeting the father of my stepkids. Am I nervous? Pepe, you know, kids. They know who's been there. Holy I'm an outlaw. I hope that's not him. Hey, you dusty? Nope. What? Are you sure? So how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. No, I'm just, uh, it's, uh, it's, isn't it so weird to say it's too warm for even a sweater? Uh, yes, I would, I would say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too, huh? Jacket, I don't want to take it off because <laughs> I sweat it through my shirt. Yeah, yeah. I have those problems too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so uh, what is it like just seeing this, this, script, this script come to fruition? And you have another film with Mark Wahlberg. What is it like pairing up with him again? You know, it was great. Uh, Mark and I had such a great time doing the other guys five years ago and uh, it was just a matter of time before we teamed up again uh, and uh, I was starting to think you were replacing with Kevin Hart I, well I love working with Kevin too we had a great time too uh, and I'd love to uh, yeah I've been so fortunate I've gotten to work with such funny great actors between Mark Kevin John C. Riley. so I now have this group of like if I could just keep doing movies with those guys I'd I'd be sad. What is it like having Will Ferrell play your character, who you would say is you, in yeah, essence, in life? Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Uh, uh, you know, my, one of my first dates with my wife, we went and we saw Elf. And I'm a, I'm a young, struggling writer then. And I'm telling my wife, like, I'm dying to write a Will Ferrell movie. That's what I really want. Speaking into existence, too. Yeah, yeah. So, like, for you, what is your prediction in the box office? What do you see this film doing on Christmas Day? Uh, I think all the numbers that I think Star Wars is going to get, we're going to get. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, it's just so, like, with Star Wars out there, it's, it's impossible to say, right? I mean, I, I'm encouraged that everyone who's seen the movie seems to really like it. This is for you. Okay, who's got next? I do. <laughs> Honey, no. Come down. Yeah, that's good advice. Godspeed. Now, yeah. you're not a father, so what was it like for you to get onto this to this script? It was cool, it was fine. My character doesn't necessarily have kids. <laughs> so you can do that all right? Yeah, I can do it, yeah. I mean, you don't have to have kids to be in a movie about fathers. <laughs> Boy, no, that's you, right. you don't even have to have kids to act like you have kids. That's you true. can act like you a father, you're like, oh, I'm acting. But it was a fun, it was a fun time, man. It was, it, I think people are going to really enjoy the movie. Guy was my wife's ex. I'd put a bullet in my skull. So the king raised his mighty sword, and he rained steel down upon the step king. But the step king blocked it with his shield. Step king was very upset because when the real king pulled out his sword, it was long and shiny. All the maidens in the land preferred the more average size step king's sword because. It knew how to listen. Now, what kind of drew you to get onto this type of production? I know you and Will have done multiple things together. What is it about this this film that's going to, I guess, kind of push your career even more? Well, it's you know, it's an introduction for me to an old an audience. You know, uh, family films is not something that I normally am a part of, uh, but it was nice to be able to do a movie that works for for both parents and kids alike. And uh, you know, I just I like the part a lot. I love working with Will, so it was pretty much a no brainer. I'm starting to think you guys are becoming like the Ice Cube and Kevin Hart of big big box movies. What would you say to that? Uh, that's a good comparison, you know. Um, but you know, people like seeing us together. It's a it's a cool odd pairing. Now, I don't think anyone really wants to be the stepdad in any situation. But so, what is your five tips of survival for any stepdads out there? Um, you know, you just gotta understand that you know, kids will try to pull that "you're not my real dad" card every chance that they get. But anybody who is, you know, willing to go into a, to a family and really, you know, try to be a part of it and try to be involved in every aspect and to be a dad anyway, uh, you know, I take my hat off to him.